It's not fair. Calm yourself, Key. No! I want to go home. Everything here is just too complicated. Try harder. I am trying. As hard as I can, I still can't retain anything. It doesn't help that no one at school wants to help me. It's like they evade me or something. You're not there to make friends. You're there to learn and grow as much as possible before you're old enough to be drafted into the army. I know. It would just be nice to have someone there. Not than just at home. Just focus on yourself, Key. And stop giving in to your petty emotions. You know the father will want more from you. Come on. <laughs> Seriously? Having trouble? No, 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 I, I got, I got this. Here, try it like this. <sighs> Relax yourself. Feel the water. You're trying to use your mind to rationally make this work, but it's all in the field. Whoa. How long did it take you to learn that? Ten minutes, probably. Hey, don't we have classes together? Um, yeah. Uh, this is M. Hart and Mr. Bryce, right? They're a little unorthodox. It's no wonder you're struggling. You're trying to take what they say too literally. It's all in the metaphors with them. I'm sorry, how impolite of me. My name is Nami. And you are? Um, Kirimo. It's nice to meet you, Kirimo. Why is it that you're here so late? It's less stressful for me to work here than at home. Uh, what about you? I, uh, I usually stay to draw and help Miss Fierce get around with her dog. And the solitude's a nice escape from reality. I, I didn't mean to keep you from your work. I'll let you get back no, to it. No, 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 you're, you're fine. Actually, I'm struggling with this and math. And if I can't pass this next exam, then I can't join the army next year. I could help you if you want. Like I said, you're not going to learn much listening to those guys. Wait, really? Sure. I love helping people. It's like a hobby of mine. Um, I'm free around four tomorrow if you want to meet at the library. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like a plan. All right. If you add the two over here, and then subtract the three from this over here, what do you get? Two. And that's after you multiply the four and divide the eight. See, you've got it. Is that so hard? Not when you have someone willing to simplify complexity. You know, even though I don't really need math for what I do, I think it's still pretty cool to learn. What do you want to do? Well, I either want to draw or take care of animals. How'd you come to that? Something about those two things. It's the only time I'm truly happy. It makes me feel alive. What about you? You said something about the military, right? Me? I, I guess I don't know what I want to do yet. Sometimes I feel like I'm walking a predestined path that doesn't feel right. You'll find something. You just have to find that thing you really love and chase after it. Get a death grip on it and never let it go, even when it starts to slip away. Hopefully soon then. My brother wants me to go to military school. You know, personally, I don't like fighting. I want to learn how to solve problems through 
other means. I like that idea. But if you do find that thing you're looking for, I'd suggest fighting for it. Just saying. Maybe. Oh, damn, my brother. He's gonna kill me. I gotta, I gotta go home. Are you busy after school tomorrow? I shouldn't be. We should hang out again. giving it your best like you have been lately. I'm trying, thanks to you. Speaking of best, <laughs> I made these for you. They're friendship bracelets. It's been exactly half a year since we met. And, well, you're kind of my first real friend. Didn't you have any friends back where you used to live? I've never really had any close connections with anyone before. I mean, except you. But my brother always tells me my mom because I have feelings like a girl. <laughs> well, you do have more emotions and feelings than most guys, but that's not a bad thing. I just want personal fulfillment. Yeah, I am tired of living for someone else. I want something of my own. Something to claim is mine. You'll find it somewhere on your path. You're a good friend. And you deserve more, I think. Thank you, Kiwamu, for the bracelet. I've got to go before my mom flips out. That girl is making you weaker. She's my friend. You're letting yourself become attached, Key. That's something we Earth Adepts don't do. No. That is something you don't do. I hate fighting. I am a different person than you and Father. Is that so? Mommy? Is everything okay? Yeah. Just fine and dandy. You sure? Can you still hang out later today? Not today, Kirumo. Hey, Nami. It's Kirumo again. It's been almost a week since we last hung out. Talked. Just wanted to make sure everything was alright. Please, talk to me soon. I'm worried about you. Nami! Where the hell you been? It's been a while. Can you hang out later? Kiromu, things are complicated for me right now. I think... It would be best if we just take a break from our friendship for a while. What? You disappear off the face of the earth and suddenly you want a break from our friendship? 
What's wrong? You can tell me anything. It doesn't concern you. But I'm here for you. Come on, tell me. You wouldn't understand what it's like to lose somebody you love. Excuse you? Have you lost your mind? I'm the one who lost both parents at childhood. Which is exactly why you'd never understand. You don't know what it's like to build bonds with people, to love them and care about them for a long time, just to have those bonds suddenly cut from your life. You're a good friend. I just don't want anyone by my side anymore. I don't really want to be friends. I'm sorry. You'll find something. You just have to find that thing you really love and chase after it. Get a death grip on it and never let it go, even when it starts to slip away. Is everything okay? Nami's mother passed. What? Well, how? Where, where's Nami? The police are looking for her. They said it had something to do with some long-term heart disease. Oh, damn it. Why didn't she tell me? Well, I have to go look for her. I won't let you. <laughs> You don't know what it's like to build bonds with people, to love them and care about them for a long time, just to have those bonds suddenly cut from your life. You're a good friend, but I don't want anyone by my side anymore. I don't really want to be friends, I'm sorry. Why you too high? I want to be something more. Let, let me shoulder your pain and wipe away your tears from now to the end. I love you, Nami. 